If you want to deploy a LiveKit agent to LiveKit Cloud and you are on Windows, this video is for you. We will start from installing the LiveKit CLI and then go all the way to deploying, updating and managing the agent. So let's get started. So first of all, what you need, but you need a LK command. LK is the LiveKit CLI tool. So if you go to the official documentation, you can find the LK command here. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to install it. So simply copy this command and go to your command line interface and then just paste it. So it will automatically download the LK command. So once it is installed, you can check the version by typing LK. So here you will see the LK is successfully installed in our PC. Once LK is installed in our PC, what we need to do, we need to link our local environments with the LiveKit cloud. In order to do that, we will run the following command. Now this command will open a browser window prompting you to log into your LiveKit cloud account. Once authenticated, your local environment is connected to your LiveKit cloud project. So you need to select your project and you just simply need to allow access. So as you can see the access is granted. So once we are authenticated, what we are going to do next is we will create our app. So in order to do that, what we need, we will go back to our command line terminal and we will just simply type LK app create. So now this, it help us to quickly set up a new application using a predefined template. These templates are like the blueprints that come with a ready-made code and configuration. So you do not have to start from scratch. So we will give our app some name. We will give like it. So we will simply skip that. Now what we will go, we will copy this command. So once the app is created, what we will do, we will open the VS code in our working directory. So it will be navigated us to this uh, directory. So here you can see it, here is a agent.py code which is given by them. So either you can use that or you can create your own. So what we will do, we will delete this and we will use our own agent.py code. So as you can see, there are certain things that they have already provided. So they have given us the Docker file and the project 2ML. So what we will go, we will modify this according to our needs and we will use them accordingly. So once our project directory is ready, so what we are going to do, we are going to change certain dependencies according to our needs. So these are the dependencies that I am going to use. now. Uh, I am also going to change certain uh, environment variable. So these are the LiveKit uh, API keys that will automatically generated once you do the authentication part. Now in my agent, I am going to use Google Cloud for TTS and STT and for LLM, I am going to use Crook. So you can use your own TTS and STT service and also the LLM, uh, whichever API key are available, available to you. Now this is my agent.py file. So I'm going to use my own custom agent.py file. You can use your own. And this is the service account.json, which is provided by the Google in order to use the service of STT and TTS. Uh, now, as you can look in this code, this is quite simple. So what I have to do, I have created a simple agent class. And in that class, I am just providing simple instruction that the LLM has to follow. And this is my entry point. So this is my entire pipeline which contain all the models that are going to use in this project. So as you can see, I'm using Google STT and the model name is latest load. And for LLM, I am using Grook and the model name is Llama 3.370 B versatile. And for voice audio detection, what I am going to use, I am use, going to use Celario and Celaro. And for TTS, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use also again using the Google TTS. So once your agent.py code is ready, before deploying it to the Google Cloud, please make sure that it's run. 
So in order to check what we are going to do, we will go to our terminal and create a new terminal. First of all, we will create our own virtual environment. Now this will create our virtual environment. Now we will go inside this virtual environment. Now we will install our dependency. This will take some time. Now everything is installed. Once everything is installed, what we are going to do, we are going to check whether our agent is running in our terminal or not. So for that, we will write this the following command, Python agent py and console for running it in the terminal. Now this will run our LabKit agent in the in our terminal. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm here to help answer any questions you may have, provide information on a wide Hi. range of topics, or assist with tasks such as generating text or providing suggestions. How can I help you today? Hi, my name is Samir. Hello, Samir. It's great to meet you. Is there something I can help you with, or would you like to chat for a bit? No, I'm that's all... okay for me. It was nice saying hello to you, Samir. If you ever need anything, or just want to chat, I'll be here. Have a great day. So, as you can see, our agent is running properly. So, now what we are going to do, we are going to deploy this into our LifeFit Cloud. Now, in order to deploy this agent into the LifeFit Cloud, what we are we are going to use the following command: lk agent. Now, it's the lk agent create command is a part of LifeKit CLI and is used to set up a new agent in your LifeKit project. When you run lk agent create, it performs several tasks like it register your agent, it create the configuration file, and prepare for deployment. So, yes, we are going to use this project only and we will select our secret files. Now, what it will do, it will use our Docker file that we have created and create a Docker image from the from it. So, this will take some time. So, what I will do, I will pause this. Now, you can see our Docker image is created. So, what we will do, yes, I will like to move the Yes, I would like to do the log, so I will simply select yes. So, yes, now our LifeFit agent is created. So, these are the logs as you can see. So, now what we do, we will go to our LifeFit account and see whether our agent is deployed or not. We will simply refresh it. So as you can see, this is our agent. This is the ID that is being provided by the LifeKit. So it's currently in the running state. Our agent is deployed and it is running. So what we are going to do, we will go to the sandbox. And we will pick one of the front-end templates from here only to check whether our agent is running or not. So we will create the sandbox. Yes, we will give a random name. Yet. Done. Now what we will do, we will launch this. Hello, I'm delighted to meet you. I'm here to help answer any questions, provide information, or assist with tasks you may have. My goal is to make your day a bit easier and more enjoyable. 
How can I assist you today? Do you have a specific topic in mind, or would you like some suggestions on how I can help? I'm all ears, or rather all text. Hi, my name is Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. It's great to have you here. Is there something I can help you with, or would you like to chat for a bit? I'm happy to talk about your interests, hobbies, no, okay or anything else. It was nice chatting with you, Alex, even if it was just for a brief moment. If you ever need anything or just want to say hello, I'm here for you. Have a fantastic day. And that's it. You have successfully deployed your LiveGrid application to LiveGrid Cloud. LiveGrid Cloud handles scaling, load balancing, and infrastructure management, allowing you to focus on building amazing real-time application. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and drop any question you have in the comments below.